In this video, I'll share with you how I redesigned the Instagram profile page in Adobe XD. I started this project by adding a screenshot of the before of the Instagram profile page so that I can kind of compare and use certain elements. For example, I didn't want to waste time redesigning the things that belong on your iPhone, like the time and the battery. So I just used a rectangle to mask those shapes out and just keep those consistent in my redesign. One of the first things I wanted to redesign was to make a much larger profile photo. I know that when I'm using the actual product on my phone, sometimes I just wish I could see someone's photo a little better and also be able to click on it and enlarge on it so I know who is this person. So I wanted to make sure to give it a pretty big real estate on the screen. I also don't find the stats like post followers and following that important, so I made them much smaller in my redesign. And of course, there are some things that just don't really need to be redesigned, like well-known iconography. Like everyone knows what an arrow is, and if we were to spend too much time redesigning arrows or things like those three little dots, users would have a really hard time understanding how to use the product. And when you're redesigning a product, you should always keep in mind how to make an experience easier for someone to use and not more difficult. So not everything needs to be redesigned. I kept toying around with the idea of changing the link to a different color. There's a slight difference in the original Instagram design, but I wanted to exaggerate a little bit more with blue. At first, when I made the following and messages button, I was going to keep it underneath the bio, similar to how Instagram already has it. But after playing around with it, I thought this is something that's really important when you're looking at a profile and deciding whether or not to follow. So I decided to move that up higher before the bio instead and move it around. I also wanted to play with the idea of adding an envelope emoji next to the word message on the button. I played around with different ones, but I ended up settling on the one with a heart just because I thought it had a little more personality and Instagram is meant to be a fun product to use, so why not have the design reinforce that? I also wanted to design the profile in a state as if someone had already posted an Instagram story for the day. And currently, Instagram shows that by having a rainbow circle around the profile photo. I pulled colors from the Instagram logo and created a gradient ring, similar but much thicker around the larger profile photo. Next up was how was I going to show the meat of the content from an Instagram profile, starting with the grid. Instagram has been evolving over time. It's no longer about a grid of photos. There's IGTV and stories. So I feel like the Instagram profile should evolve and show more of that. So instead of showing highlights, I decided to just get right into the grid. So instead of scrolling down, what if you were scrolling to the left to see photos? Uh, and if you wanted to see them much larger, you can click on one and look at the comments and tap to like it. But instead, this is kind of giving you a little glimpse of the photos. And then maybe you would scroll down to see other content. I wanted to keep the same icon to show that a post had multiple photos, so I just kept that the same. And then I wanted to add a timestamp for the video section so someone at a glance could see how long a video was before they clicked on it, and that also reinforces that this is a video post instead of a photo post. My initial idea was to have a rectangle in the background of the timestamp with a background blur to help with legibility, but once I saw all the other videos next to it, I just didn't like how that effect looked, so I ended up adding a gradient behind, so it fades from black into, which is a very common design UI element. Here's the before and after design side by side. I'd love to know your thoughts on this redesign. Leave a comment below and let me know. Also, if you were to redesign the Instagram profile page, what would you change and why? Maybe you have completely different ideas on how Instagram should treat the content. Share your ideas below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future.